Ready? What's up everybody, Griever here, and this is going to be the annual APOC Roundup Wrap-Up Thoughts on video, however you want to really talk about it. Uh, but yeah, APOC 2021 has come and gone. It was this past weekend on August 7th. Uh, I'm filming this a few days later, uh, just to kind of, this way I was able to rest up, get my thoughts together, all that kind of good stuff. But... My personal take and experience for the day was I had a good time. It was great. Uh, what two, one great thing was the weather actually was cooperative this year. Uh, in Apox past, it's usually high 90s, high humidity, high heat index. Um, and chances are it's either uh, it rains before everything started, it rained on us, or it rained as we were all packing stuff up. This year, I think it was low 90s. Still hot, but, you know, it's August. What do you expect? Uh, there was no rain whatsoever, which was a very big plus. And the humidity was pretty tolerable. It wasn't, like, overbearingly hot, which was a godsend, really. Uh... At one point, even, I, I want to say, I, may, I think it may have been like 3.34ish or so, I actually felt a cool breeze blow through the camp and hit me, and it was like so refreshing. That breeze was beautiful. Anyway, but yeah, uh, back on target. <laughs> we also had a change of venue this year, so instead of Joe Palia Park, where we normally used to have APOC. Uh, this was at Cousins Paintball in Manchester, New Jersey. Uh, same place we had Cataclysm at, and I gotta say, it the field there is really nice. Uh, it's a private field, so you know we don't have to worry about any issues like we did back two years ago. So honestly, that's a big win. So, but getting on to the day in of itself. Uh, one thing I always look forward to at APOC is getting to see, uh, you know, my old friends, the old guard, uh, getting to see Nick, getting to see DX. Uh, Jackson from the Law Dubs showed up and, you know, it always warms the heart to see Jackson. He's such a wonderful guy. Uh, also making a surprise appearance was Carlos, who also was repping the Ultra Faro with a worker kit, which looked amazing. And oh my god, that thing worked so. I mean, granted, he had a little bit of a uh, issue with an O ring, but oh my god, that thing was a beauty to shoot. Uh, he let me take a couple of pot shots with it, and the prime on that thing, even with a heavier spring because of the internals of it, was so buttery smooth. It was like you were priming it. Doc, it was ridiculous. It really is making me consider on getting one. Um, but yeah, that's just to name a few of uh, some of the guys we got to see. Uh, shout out to Charles from Containment Crew. It was great catching up with you. Uh, but also getting to meet some new old friends. <laughs> uh, people who I've known in the hobby for, you know, at least more than a hot minute. But we've never actually got to meet face to face. Uh, Josh and James from France Foamworks, I finally got to meet them. <laughs> and also uh, Jade from Foamdemic, it was honestly great meeting, you know, everyone. Uh, but also everyone who I met for the first time that day, uh, it was honest to God, great meeting everybody. It's always great meeting new friends and meeting new people in the hobby and, you know, just being able to talk and just exchange ideas. And that's, that's one of the beauties of what the hobby is about, you know, at least my take on it. Okay, so some of the stuff that we actually did play for APOC was uh, Flag Push, which the uh, NYCNO is basically touting as the new 315, because 
that's really what it is. It's 315, but it has an objective of a flag push, where there's a flag in the dead center. You push it towards, you know, once he pushes it the opposite direction, uh, but it's still 315. You have three lives, three, uh, three lives, 15 second response. And I forgot if it was DX or Kevin on the admin team who was kind of explaining it to me that, yeah, it's kind of the new startup 315 that they're really kind of doing because previously 315 was just a uh, plop, defend, and pot shot, where at least with the flag push, it gives you an objective, so you kind of have to move it one way or another so that you're not just really sitting behind cover taking pot shots. But uh, we also played Carpe, which is a pretty... I, I guess you want to... I guess you could kind of say almost a... Uh, the game type of... No, not really. It's like the APOC game because it's played other places. But I remember the first time I ever played that was at APOC, I believe. Actually, no, it may have been actually at one of the NJ, the old NJROs. Well, either way, we played Carpe to Testicula. Uh, object of it is you have two teams, set timer, infinite lives, really. Um, but the objective is each team has a bucket. There's a bunch of items, usually like kind of uh, play pit balls or whatever, uh, scattered around the field. Team with the most balls wins at the end. Um, we actually had, like, a ton of balls this time around. And I don't even think we actually got to the point of where we had to try and steal from either bucket in order to actually score. Uh, there was, like, enough in the field to where if you got to that point, it was like the field was really cleared out well. Uh, there was also uh, something I played for the first time called, I want to say, I think it was Domination. But anyone who's ever played Destiny, it's basically Control. It's a full field-wide game where you start off two teams, obviously, uh, three capture points, and whoever has the most capture points at the end of the game wins. So it's basically you hit one and then you fight over the third. So, uh, But yeah, that was actually a really fun game type. It was really interesting getting, trying to actually do it in real life at all. Uh, the last game that we really kind of played, or at least that I participated in in some way, uh, was, and I honestly, I don't remember the actual proper name of it. Uh, I'm just going to refer to it as objective push because really you're just trying to move an objective from point A to point B. A uh, team that gets either the furthest wins or the team that gets it to from point a to point b the quickest wins uh, that's actually the game type with the tank uh, i had a picture a picture or two of it from the Cat cataclysm video but i actually did get footage of the full game this time around so that's actually really neat to watch uh yeah so now going on to stuff that i brought for since i didn't do a apoc prep video uh, I would actually like this year. I only brought three blasters with me. I brought my Caliburn, I brought my Nexus Pro, and I brought my Max Striker. The Caliburn, oh my god, that was a, it was a wonder to use in the field. I love that thing. Uh, performed completely flawlessly. Uh, I also used my Nexus Pro for a few rounds. Uh, that also worked wonderfully with the uh, worker barrel that I put on it. It was actually the one that uh, Builder BB let me borrow uh, during Cataclysm. Not the exact same one. I just bought the same version of it. Uh, but yeah, it worked out really, really nice. I think I used that for Carpe because it was easier for me to prime that one. Uh, to, so it was easier to get out quicker shots on that one than it was the Caliburn, where I was being a little bit more methodical with it. Now, I did not use my max, my personal Max Striker for really one big reason, and that was the humidity, I think, or the day itself, was actually kind of screwed with my Brass Breach, or my Brass Barrel. Uh, when I had tested it, and I know the Saturnus may not be 
the most ideal thing to use, but it's better than the Chrono Barrel. Uh, it wound up performing really well in the shop, but when I had it in the field and I tested it like mid midish day, um, it had really suffered performance-wise, and I really wasn't sure why. Um, it was hitting about an average of like 220 or 230 in the shop, but when I decided to test it before I put, took it out in the field, I hit was hit like 150, 160, and it made no sense to me, but somebody had said, oh, it could be the brass barrel with the darts and the humidity and all that kind of stuff, and I'm like, oh, well, that sucks, but it is what it is, so... It really wasn't anything I could do at that point. Uh, but I still did use a Max Striker in the field, and that was actually a uh, field test for France Formworks and their kit that they're actually be putting out, probably out by the time this video comes out. Uh, so yeah, Josh asked me if I would mind field testing a couple of uh, the parts and other things and all that stuff, and for the most part it went well. Um, I did give him some... Uh, criticisms and feedback on it those were obviously taken to heart and understood and you know cha you know certain changes were made obviously before everything went out but you know it's it's good to do that kind of stuff because you want to make sure everything works right but yeah so i while i have not field tested my back striker i do have other parts that i did get at uh apoc that will hopefully maybe fix the jank that I have in there. So, there's that. But, yeah, I think I've rambled on enough about what I experienced at the, uh, the event. So, I'm going to show you the little bit of footage that I did get and keep an eye out for Cloudy because he does make an appearance there. So, there is that. So, check that out now. So, we are here at APOC 2021, you lose time with this, with all the shit going on, but it's been a fun day, I've run around a lot. And a lot of old school people he, show up again. Yes. Uh, this time in particular, like, UN13 was here, like, like I could be fanboy all over again. Yeah. <laughs> Nick showed up, uh, Carlos made it, that was awesome, uh, yeah, a lot of people, uh, Foamdemic is here, France Foamworks, Containment Crew showed up, always wonderful to see, uh, Charles, obviously all the guys from, uh, the NYCNO who are running this, which are, they're doing a phenomenal job, so. Yeah, it's working. Technology. <laughs> Well, that too. <laughs> solar charger doesn't solarly charge. It only works as a battery. Why have a solar charger if solar charging is not an option on your solar charger? China. These are the wonderful questions we I'm ask sorry, ourselves every India. day. I'm okay, China. that's getting cut. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just be on the safe side. So, yeah, it's been a fun day so far. 
going to try and get some actual war footage. Uh, I wandered around the camp, so we'll talk about that in a moment. But, yeah, it's been a fun day. Right, Cliff? The weather's moving in. My God, it looks like a marble. On my head looks like a marble on top of mashed potatoes. This is a horrifying picture. I am a Sunday of cholesterol. <laughs> Not arguing. <laughs> but, yeah. We'll see what goes on next, so stay tuned for that. I say the tank stuck. Going into a pile of wood. Okay, 
Okay, so I hope you enjoyed my uh, footage, and big shout out again to James from France for Works uh, for filming the round of nomination for me. Uh, really did appreciate it. Thank you very much. Uh, but yeah, coming out of APOC, I actually have a quite a number of videos that I'm going to be having to work on now because uh, I got a I got some striker parts from uh, Jade over at Film Demic. Uh, not given to me. I actually did purchase them, uh, but they are going to be going to my back striker when I do the, I guess you could say more in depth mod guide uh, to it, where I actually do the paint job and all that kind of stuff. So that'll be coming up, and also I'll do a bit of a review on the parts, obviously as they're going into things. Uh, I will also have a guess you can kind of say sponsored video almost. Uh, I got some parts from France Formworks that he wanted me to take a look at, and so that will be another video uh, coming out in regards to that, and I'll explain the sort of pseudo-sponsored thing when that video actually comes out. Uh, also, I won the third place raffle that uh, France Formworks actually held at APOC. Uh, yeah, they actually held a raffle and gave away a lot of neat prizes. Uh, one was like $140, I want to say, in uh, parts and blasters, uh, obviously donated by France Formworks. Uh, a second second place was, I believe it was an AI Pro, and third place was this. So I got my hands on a Siege 50 for basically just the ticket price. And while everyone basically said, you know, wish me condolences for my loss in that, but while everyone's been really crapping on Hyper, I still want to try it out for myself. Uh, I know normally on the channel, when things usually get really, really crap reviews before I get a chance to actually get my hands on it, unless it's something I was really looking forward to, I tend to just kind of avoid it, which is why you have never seen a... a uh, Elite 2.0 review on this channel, um, I still want to see what the Hyper does, and just give it a shot. Why the hell not? Uh, also, I did get a gift from Cloudy, which you can kind of just see sitting right there. Uh, that's going to be a special video that will probably be after all of these, because I want to get these done first, and then I'll do that one. But, yeah, so, uh, thank you to, uh, the NYC NO admins who actually took the reins and uh, the baton from Nick as he passed them on and actually hosted and organized everything this year. Uh, as I said in the beginning of the video, my personal take was I had a blast. I really enjoyed myself. Um, and that's where I'm going to leave it at that. So, Okay, so that's going to be it for this video, and as always, if you enjoyed the content we put here on the channel, please throw us a like and subscribe. Leave a comment down below. Let me know if you made it to APOC 2021, and if you did, hopefully I was able to say hi to you. Um, and let me know what you thought of your experiences there. I love reading all the comments and all. So, and ooh, don't forget to click that little bell icon, otherwise you may not know when me and Arlene are doing our silliness here on the channel. And also, friendly reminder, we have a P.O. box, so if you want to send us some snail mail, it's the whole reason why the post office still exists. So, again, thank you all very much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Later.